by grace can we enter. Only by grace can we stand. Not by a human endeavor, but by the blood of the Lamb. Into your presence we call us, we call us to come. Into your presence you draw us, now by your grace we come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, these days we have been listening to the Sermon on the Mount by Jesus. Throughout this sermon, Jesus invites us to focus on one important fact. And it is based on this fact that Jesus shares all these important instructions for our life. And the fact is, we belong to God. And that is the sense of belonging, this Jesus shares throughout the Sermon on the Mount. And on this day, as we have come here to celebrate our great thanksgiving, let us renew this sense of belonging to God, which leads us to a sense of belonging to each other. And let us build up our community by accepting ourselves before God and before one another and imploring God's mercy on us and on each one of us as members of one family. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. The Franciscan Fathers in India offer masses for the following intentions. For the repose of the soul of Justin Anthony and Mark Anthony Hult. For the repose of the soul of Edward Chandra Babu by the family members. And for the repose of the soul of S.B. Arlaparaj. As Thanksgiving Mass on the birthday of Natalia Maria Francois by S.O.J. family, by the Leonard Vincent family, and for the birthday of Jerick Anthony, and for the special intention of Savio Dawson and family. On this day, we pray in a special way for Natalia, Maria, Francois, and uh, Jerick Anthony, who are celebrating their birthday. May the Lord bless them with good health and grant them their heart's desires. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach, chapter 48, verses from 1 to 14. The prophet Elijah arose like a fire, and his word burned like a torch. He brought a famine upon them, and by his zeal he made them few in number. By the word of the Lord, he shut up the heavens and also three times brought down fire. How glorious you were, O Elijah, in your wondrous deeds! And who has the right to boast which you have done? And you have raised a corpse from death and from hate by the word of the Most High, who brought kings down to destruction and famous men from their beds, who heard rebuke at Sinai and judgments of vengeance at Horeb, who anointed kings to inflict retribution and prophets to succeed you, you who were taken up by a whirlwind of fire in a chariot with horses of fire, you who are ready with the appointed time. It is written to calm the wrath of God before it breaks out in fury, to turn the heart of the Father to the Son and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Blessed are those who saw you and those who have been adorned in love for we also shall surely live. It was Elijah who was covered by the whirlwind, and Elisha was filled with his spirit. In all his days he did not tremble before any ruler, and no one brought him into subjection. Nothing was too hard for him, and when he was dead, his body prophesied. As in his life he did wonders, so in death his deeds were marvelous. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. The many coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. Your response? Rejoice, you just in the Lord. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. Your response? Rejoice, Rejoice you just in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Your response? Rejoice, Rejoice you just in the Lord. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Your response? Rejoice, Rejoice, you just in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading for the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your Heavenly Father also will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we see in the beginning of the fifth chapter of this Gospel according to Matthew, the, the external structure of the sermon is arranged in such a way that the sermon is first directed to the disciples. The disciples who have chosen God in their lives. And so Jesus gives them a way of life that would strengthen their sense of belonging to God. And that's why he begins with the first beatitude of blessed are the poor in spirit as it is translated in uh, today's English, in the modern language, it is blessed are the people who are in need of God and in need of people. And it is from this perspective we have to read the sermon and understand it. And particularly in today's gospel we have a teaching on prayer. Here, Jesus is trying to point out that a prayer is not a skill of words. By praying, we are not going to prove our skill that we can pray long and we can pray many beautiful and bombastic words. According to Jesus, prayer is a relationship. It is a relationship with God and with true God with all creation. And that is why in the early church 
as we read from the instructions of St. Paul, prayer is a way of life. And so, and so St. Paul says, pray unceasingly. Pray as long as you live. Pray as long as you breathe. And so this sort of prayer enriches our relationship with God and with one another. And in the conclusion of today's uh, teaching, Jesus says, this prayer has to be reflected in our relationship, particularly in terms of forgiveness and reconciliation. Forgiveness and reconciliation is an assurance of our sense of belonging to God. In fact, when we refuse to forgive someone, it is actually an expression of pride that I am greater than the other person or I am higher than the other person and everything should be under my control. And so that is why we refuse to forgive others. On the other hand, if only we knew that we belong to God because of God's mercy and not because of our merit, then we will know our true self and we will be able to accept others also and we will be able to forgive each other. And so forgiving is an expression, it comes from the expression of uh, experience of uh, belonging to God. And that implies that we need to see, see the image of God in each other. And it is this faith in the image of God that is imprinted in each one of us that moves us forward to love and to forgive. And so, this is a common prayer we recite practically every day at every moment. And when we, whenever we pray, and especially whenever we pray the Lord's Prayer, let us strengthen our sense of belonging and let us also strengthen our practice of reconciliation. Today being Thursday, we shall present our petitions before the Lord through the intercession of uh, Saint Sebastian, our patron. The Lord is the strength of his people, the saving refuge of his anointed. Save Even your people, people Lord, Lord, and bless, and bless your, your inheritance. inheritance. Hear, O Lord, the sound of our call. Be our helper and do not forsake us, O God, our Savior. Save, Save your people, people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made, made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. Let us pray to God, our Father, the source and author of all wholeness, who has opened the way to salvation for us in Jesus Christ and through his saints. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Sebastian. Father, free our politicians and leaders from the greed for power and wealth and fill them with the spirit of love and service of the people. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Sebastian. Have mercy on those who labor under the burden of poverty, drought, sickness, old age, and inspire your people to work for their relief. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Sebastian. Heal the sick and depressed. Let the lonely know the comfort of your love. Assist all in need of your mercy. 
Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Sebastian. Grant that our brothers and sisters who have died and now rest in peace may share in your eternal life. Comfort us who remain in this life and mourn their passing. Lord, hear our prayer as we honor you in St. Sebastian. Let us pause for a moment for our personal intentions, for the intentions of our families, of our parish and for the whole world at large. In a special way, we remember all the people who are affected by the pandemic corona and also the people who have died because of this contagious virus. In a special way, we Remember all the departed souls who are, who are in remembrance of our uh, Eucharistic celebration today. Father, your Son accepted the sufferings to teach the virtue of patience in human illness. Hear the prayers we offer through your master, St. Sebastian, for our sick brothers and sisters. May all who suffer pain, illness, and disease realize that they are chosen to be saints and know that they are joined to Christ in his sufferings for the salvation of the world. Grant this prayer of ours through the intercession of your martyr, St. Sebastian, and in the powerful name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O oh God, in the offerings presented here, you provide for the twofold needs of human nature nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of the host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, you are holy indeed. You are the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, and death he freely accepted, he took bread, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks and praise to you, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Let me eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Let me eat this bread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death. O Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George and Donisami, our Archbishop, all other bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the laity everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, Saint Francis, Saint Clare, Saint Anthony, Saint Sebastian, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. With a sense of belonging to God and with one another as one family, let us pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say, dear apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who takes away our sinfulness, our failures, our weaknesses, our fears and anxieties. And by His death and resurrection, He empowers us to experience a sense of belonging with God by our practice of reconciliation with one another. Happy are we who are called to His meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. I unite myself wholly to you now, 
as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Novena prayer to Saint Sebastian. O holy Saint Sebastian, we come to invoke your help, confident of experiencing your goodness and power, the consolation of so many people. Pray for us to the Father of mercies and speak to him in our name that we may obtain the particular graces we need. True disciple of Jesus Christ, help us to imitate your zeal and fortitude. Put into our hearts the flame of your love, that we may love our merciful Father in heaven and our neighbor as ourselves. Pray that we may fulfill the will of our Heavenly Father and live the way Jesus shows us in the Gospels. Be a guide for us this day that we may recognize the opportunities God gives us to be selfless and not selfish and to suffer something for Christ's sake. Assist us in keeping the promises we made at our baptism 
Help us to obtain the grace to walk in the light of faith by the way we live, so that we may live the gospel of Christ and grow with you in this love. Amen. Amen. Saint Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ and unfailing hope of the sick, pray, pray for us to the Son of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world, world, world without, without end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O Heavenly Father, we beg you through our Lord Jesus Christ, who learned obedience in the school of suffering, to receive our prayers and offerings, and through him to give us the grace to be always obedient to your will, to bear patiently the sufferings of this life and come to experience the bliss. He promises to those who are faithful to him. We ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is our protector forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us and protect us from all evils and dangers and sicknesses. And may the Lord lead us into his life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Saint of our church, many have received your healing through God's loving grace. Your Saint Sebastian, show us how to trust in God, how to love our fellow brothers, and to care for all. Mother, pray for, for us. Saint Sebastian, our patron, pray, pray for, for us. us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.